just give me your overall impressions of, of what you've seen so far through the first week. Uh, we, we've made some improvement. Uh, we're just taking it one day at a time, and, and hopefully we will continue to improve. But uh, right now, uh, we're, we're satisfied with where we are. But we, you know, we, we've got to continue to improve. Anybody catching your eye back there right now really kind of standing out? I think that uh, DJ Swearinger and Demi, Jimmy Legree are both uh, playing solid football for us right now, making plays here or there. We just got to be consistent and you know, continue to make plays, and we'll be okay. Give me your thoughts on Jimmy and how this move is going and, and what he's done well this fall. Uh, Jimmy's done well for us. He's, uh, he's come on. He's adjusted from moving from our corner to safety. He's a smart player. He's done quite well for us. I've noticed Sheldon was out again with the yellow jersey today. Anything on him or, or what you've seen so far? Uh, uh, Sheldon will be back. You know, the biggest thing with him is uh, uh, our medical staff taking great care of him, and he'll be back. What have you seen from him so far in, in the first few practices that you like? Uh, his aggressiveness. Uh, Sheldon's a smart football player. Uh, he'll continue to progress. I, I think the biggest thing right now is just making sure that he's healthy. What does he have to do to get on the field this year? Is it is it more of a health issue, or is there some things fundamentally that he needs to do to see the field? Uh, I, I think the biggest thing right now is him just learning our system. You know, we, we, we have a lot of stuff that we do have in, and the more that he picks it up, and the more that he feels comfortable, and the, the more that he continue to make plays for us. But, you know, he's just got to continue to learn and, and grow from it. What's your two deep look like right now as far as uh, – as far as the safeties? Right now, we have uh, DJ Swearinger and Jimmy Legree, and then backing them up is uh, Sherrod Golightly and uh, Bryson Williams. Talk about Sherrod and Bryson, two guys that, that are new, uh, I guess. And Well, they've been here for over a year, uh, and they've been through a spring, uh, so we expect those guys to, uh, you know, to come on and help us out. Uh, you know, at this point in time, you know, you know Bryson's a, you know, a solid backup. Okay, you know, he's competing for a number one spot, you know, and uh, Sherrod's doing the same thing. I think right now Bryson's a little bit ahead of the curve. He's he, he's competing. I mean, he, he's right there on the toes of those guys at the number one spot. Where is Bryson at right now? Which, which is he behind Jimmy or is he behind DJ? He's behind uh, Jimmy. Okay, and are those guys being cross trained at all? Or yeah, they... a little bit. We're doing trying to do a little bit of cross training. I just you know Bryson's a smart player. He he knows both and he can do both. Good. What about uh, Cedric Cooper? He's looked pretty impressive as all. He has. He has been uh, very, very impressive, but that's the question. You probably want to ask uh, Coach Johnson a little bit more because Coach Johnson has him inside. But, you know, he shows up. He's done some good things for us. Coach, I mean this in the most respectful way possible, but how comfortable are you with Jimmy and Free? Very comfortable. Very comfortable. You know, heck, we wouldn't have him out there at number one if we weren't comfortable with him. Uh, I mean, I think Jimmy's a smart player. He's solid. He's done some good things. You know, the thing we've got to do is just get him in a place where he can make some plays. And, you know, he, he knows our, our defense. So we're very comfortable with him back there.